Hello everyone, Dupin Rope here. Welcome back. I'm carrying straight on from yesterday. I've not even turned it off, so it's still everything's still open and explored, so that's good. I'd have to re see everything. So hope you're alright. So I was just I was just thinking, obviously continuing the talk about the NPCs. It would be interesting. I mean obviously getting raided would be a bit of a bugger, but it'd be quite interesting if you could have some say join you. Um, I know it'd be the same as just playing cooperatively with people online, same deal, but uh, it'd be quite quite an interesting idea, like being able to like set them, like, like you might get some joy and you don't know if you can trust them, they might betray you, they might, uh, they might be valuable members, you know, they might, they can, maybe they have different skills, you can see their skills, and some are good for farming, some are good for this and that, that'd be interesting. Because I I'm never really good at like trapping, so if you find someone who's like a good trapper, uh, maybe they ex police officer or something like that, you know, so you could put them on guard, different things like that. I just think that could it it could work out, because then it'd help you deal with the raids. If you say had two people with you, NPCs that joined, you'd have to like set them beds maybe. Um, but then that would help if you did get raided by, say, three or four people. It'd be... It, it could work. They'd have to... I'm, I'm sure they are trying to develop it. Like I say, they've they've already got things for being shot, like bullets and stuff, um, with the with the tweezers. So they've obviously got an idea that you will at some point be shot. But yeah, yeah I, th I think it could work. I was just looking at the negatives of being raided all the time, but the positives of having them, having some survivors join you, would be interesting. I suppose they'd have to make some way of being able to set like a home base so they know where they can and can't go. A bit like RimWorld, but um, not quite as in-depth, because that's... I mean, they could do it, you just have to sort of draw out where they can go and can't go, but that's a lot of things to add on to quite a big game already. But it'd be interesting to see what they do. Right, anyway, so the plan for today was to continue what I was going to do yesterday, before that bloody helicopter came along and go down here and have a look and then my plan is, if I can't find the book uh, tomorrow's video I'm going to, I'm not going to record, I'm just going to do it off camera because it's going to be such a issue it'll be, so the next time you I record, it'll, I'll have already did it basically but I'm going to move all my stuff into the building I will dismantle all those cages inside so I can plant some crops because I don't need to worry about the metal working skill with that because there's so many dis uh, destroyed cars out the front that I'll be able to put my metal working up with that worrying about the bit of fence isn't going to be a big deal so when you see it again it should look a bit different but I'll do that off camera but if I'm lucky I'll find the metal working book today when I go down to the area I was going to look at yesterday but there is always a large chance I won't find jack shit down there right so I want to take everything out basically except for that gas cam that's good it's too heavy anyway um because I will check that truck that's over by the fast food place in case because you never know, he might have his keys in him. If he has, then I will put fuel in it then. So I can just run over there at some point and grab it. Fingers crossed, because it does look like it's in quite good condition. But I'll have to see what the zombie situation over there is like. Right, I don't know why he did that. But let's just chuck all this shit in here. Like I say, I'll do all this off camera tomorrow. So by the time you see it again, it should be all sorted. Just chuck all that in there. Because I've got so much shit. It's going to take me so long to do it. It's, it's not worth doing it on camera. On camera.
yeah, and I thought, with the sheer amount of um, broken down cars at the front, I don't know why I'm so worried about my uh, metal working skill. It just, I just hate, wa hate wasting potential experience. Because I think if I did read the book, breaking down the few bits of cage in there, it would probably put it up the two points. Because it is such so good when you read the books, you get so much more experience. But with the sheer amount of cars that's at the front, I don't really need to worry about that. And in a way, the quicker, the sooner I can uh, start farming, the better. Even if I don't need the food, which I don't, it, it'll be handy to just grow it for the seeds, really. Plus, it'll put the skill up, which is always a good thing. Right, let's get that and that in there. For fuck's sake, that and that in there. Need to find some food quickly. I thought I had cereal, but I probably, I mean, I probably do. I've got so much crap, it's just it's everywhere. The crackers eat them now. I don't want to waste my jam. <laughs> what a peanut butter. Oh, but then at the same time, the longer I take fucking around, just eat it. Just eat it. And put the peanut butter in your pouch. Did I not fill up my water bottle? Alright, I took one of these. And I just take these two. I'm pretty sure I'll come across a, a, a water dispenser in one of the buildings. All right, first things first, go to that truck, see if it's okay. If it is, fill it with gas, go back to it tomorrow or one of the other days, and then do what I was going to do yesterday. Oh yeah, gotta remember, remember the bodies. I nearly flipped the fucking van yesterday, didn't I? Oof. It's crazy shit. There's so many of them. I presume you can burn them up, but I just thought they'd already burned up. But I, I mean, I presume you can just re-burn them. <clears throat> I have gone too far. What the fuck? Dickhead. Right, just honk the horn over here. Try and get me to leave the petrol station. I was, uh, thinking about dodging the bloody corpses to the point that I forgot what I was going to do, which was... I need to check that really as well. Can I? Can I? Quickly? Um... Shh. Shush. Can I quickly check it? does look like he's in good condition. Empty gas can take that anyway. Go on, go on, go on, go on. Bastard. Go on, 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 go on. Oh, you fucking bastard. Too good to be true. But once I do get my uh, hot wiring skill, you will be a beauty. It's quite handy having sirens sometimes. You can just draw so many of the zombies away. It's 
It's quite handy as a distraction as well. You set it up, just park up, put the sirens on, leave it, fuck off somewhere else, and they'll just go to it. It's a bit of a bugger to get it back though. But, uh, Of course you want to stop there, didn't you? It's like they know what I want to fucking do. My sneaking is up a little bit, which is good. I don't know what the fuck that was. Oh, come on, you cunt. Oh, you're a bastard. Yeah, I should kill him, shouldn't I, just because he's a prick. I presume that's a bear? I mean... Right. Need to get the key out. Okay, shit, money to attach that to my holster. Fuck it. Taking this, I just park in it so they can, uh, they can remember. Because <laughs> I'll probably be like, oh, yeah. <laughs> what is this boot like? Whoa, you got a beast. Is it 129? Not bad at all. I'm pretty sure the van's pretty good too, mind you, but I'd said it's probably 90 if I'm lucky. Oh, a straight 100. Can't complain. Right, well that's good. to be able to see everything.
be interesting to see if they put um, animals into the game as well. Like large animals. Like maybe cows, you can get cows or something. I think they might put horses in so you can ride horses. But like maybe like deer as well, so you could hunt deer if you wanted to. Things like that. Like I'm, I'm no good at trapping, but I know I found like rabbit carcasses and squirrel carcasses, so I presume well, not that you'd see them, but they are in the game. So whether you could... You'd hunt deer or something. Take the duct tape. Right, I won't worry too much about the cars, what's that? It's like a design place, so it's just gonna be like office stuff. I do have the screwdriver, so I could just say fuck it and um, dismantle. Because I mean, realistically, if I'd have just done it by now, I'd probably have my electric skill. And it's not the biggest. Getting a high one. You just need level one and then level two in mechanics to be able to hotwire. I know you can make noise makers if you find the magazine, and they are actually quite good. But I think that's like level level four electronics, I think, to be able to do it. But they are pretty good. But they're not vital, you know what I mean? Like, hot wiring's pretty useful. Noisemakers are pretty useful. But, um... Level 4, I'm pretty sure it's pretty high, because it's quite, it's quite a good thing. So it's, uh... A bit of a mission to get to. How much did that give me? 3.5. Ooh. gonna take a while. Right, but I should just start doing it everywhere I can until I do come across the uh the book. And it would be best to do it. So I, I wanna try and save the stuff I do have in my base, so I'll do it wherever I can here. I can hear a fucking zombie. I'll take the matches as well. So I'll need that for starting the barbecues and stuff. I'm pretty sure you can fill up the lighters, but I did try and it didn't work. But I might have just tried it, like, wrong. Because <laughs> it makes sense you can refill a fucking Zippo. It's, it's pretty obvious. So I must have just been being fucking stupid. because I know there's definitely something around here, I can hear it. need to. There are quite a few dotted around the army base. But I will remember it's there because it's quite good to have. I'd rather have too many than too few. I'm just going to take these. I know I don't need a few of them, but I'm just fucking grabbing it. I can hear a zombie. It's really annoying me. But he's outside against this wall. Or these walls. Yeah, the idea, it's quite annoying that you, if you wanted to, 
lighter Molotov, you have to use a lighter. You can't use matches. I mean, I get it. It's um, going to be all well. I mean, in life or death situations, you'd light that fucking match while holding the holding the Molotov like in your arm, while you use your hands to do it. You know, press your arm against your body, so you could, but. In game terms, it's like, no, you have a lighter. Which is good to know. I didn't know that at the time, so I was there like a fucking idiot stood there with a Molotov and a bunch of matches in my hand. Zombies running at me, and I'm like, oh, you know, walking at me, and I'm like, I can't light the fucking Molotov. Mm. Alright, I think he might be in the bathroom. Okay. Right, not too bad. I know you can dismantle the clocks for a little bit of uh, electronics skill, but it's not fucking worth it. It's so small. Oh, I see you. it was these guys I could hear through the wall. But I wouldn't have thought I could... Well, I suppose. Yeah, this little fucker. Oh, what a sexy sound. <laughs> Ooh, a key to a car. Right. right, well, he's over there, or she's over there doing whatever she's doing. I'll stay over here and do what I'm doing. Really, this is benefiting her. If she comes over here, she's dead, so, I mean, she's safer just staying there. But she doesn't do that. She's a zombie. I say that, she could be the zombie that fucking kills me. Because I'm being stupid. Right. Okay. Just, oh yeah, okay. Oh, you wanna fucking double team me. It's my lucky day. Yep, I'll take them. I'd rather have too many than too few. Because it's going to come up with, I mean, ideally you'd get to a stage where you're alive so long, like, every, like all the roads are overgrown, and it's just, if you want to, see this is the other thing, I was thinking to myself the other day, a smart person would leave this, leave all of this, and do everything else with the car. 
because it's going to get to a stage where you aren't going to be able to get anywhere, like you ain't going to get there because all of the roads are going to be overgrown with trees. It's going to take a long time, but it will. So a smart person would do the furthest thing they can, do all of that. It would be obviously trying to transport it back down to wherever you want to. I mean, uh, <laughs> I say this again. I'm going to watch it in case I die, but a smart person would put their base sort of sentry, I suppose, if you wanted to do everything. But I like being down here at the moment with the military base. i just being careful in case a zombie comes, but a smart person, really, ideally in my position, should keep all of this. Do like, I say there, because I know how to get there. Get rid of the cars that's in the way, so it's a bit smoother, but... You know, then empty all of that where you can with the roads. And then, once everything is overgrown and all you can do is walk, literally, this place I'm in now is like, you know, you can use walking distance. So that's what you should do. But, me being me, I don't know. I might start doing that, because it is the smart thing to do. And I do, I always play these games with the aim to live for God knows how long. If I wasn't, obviously, I'd have been. I'd have already gone out in a blaze of glory. But there's no point in playing it like that. You want to ideally survive. Um, so ideally, in like real world situation, I'd like to think I'd have been smart enough to not just. But then, in the real world situation, it's going to take like your lifetime. You ain't going to get trees burst up through fucking the road in your lifetime. That is something I should have probably addressed with the game, because I did change the length in which it takes for the corpses to decay, but I didn't, I don't think, change the length that it takes for things to erode and uh, stuff like that, because, I mean, I've been living here my whole life, and I can't say I've ever had vines growing up the side of my house. So I think that's really, unless you already have like ivy on the side of your fucking house, you're not going to get vines growing up the side of your building. But then that's England, I don't know what it's like over in, where I presume this is in America, obviously. But I still don't think it's something that, you know, happens. And even if it does, yeah, even if it does, it would take like 20, well I don't know, it would take, it would take 20 years, it would take like, it would take years though, it would take a couple of years. I know ivy grows quite quick, but not, you don't tend to have ivy on your house because it destroys your fucking house. But yeah, I've always, it does make me laugh when you get shit growing outside the buildings, I'm like, Christ, I've lived here my whole life and I've never like, had to take, <laughs> rip shit off the side of the walls. But I've left that up standard, I forgot to change all that, so that will actually happen in the game. But it's not too bad, I quite like it, I do love the old post-apocalyptic. The idea that, you know, Last of Us, where you aren't driving a car anymore, you're just walking everywhere and stuff, because the roads are all overgrown. Which I could have did on here, I could have set it so it was 20, like, 20 years into it, so everything is overgrown. Which I might do at some point, I might do a playthrough one day, where it is a, uh, it's been like however many years. I think in that situation, though, if you did do a game like that, you'd want to lower the amount of zombies there are. You'd like to think that some of them, say, I don't know, died off or rotted away. Because if you didn't have any vehicles, you'd be screwed a lot of the time. Like, on foot all the time, you'd be... I mean, it'd be a challenge. They'd have to put something like horses in because... You'd you just die. As soon as you get like high exit like exhaustion, you're just fucked. That's why I don't like using the sledgehammer. I love the sledgehammer, it's badass. It literally kicks ass, but um it's just so 
dangerous to use. Because it's like four, five, maybe five hits. It's, it is a, it's a few, but it's... What? Oh, this is my battle. That was the van. Um, it's a few hits, but once you are tired, you're screwed with it. Because it already weighs a ton anyway, so it's slowing you down. Plus you're exhausted. Yeah, it just, in the few games I have used it, it's always ended up getting me killed. That's another nice fan. There is a chance there's keys for inside here, so I will have a look. generators as well, I'd be like, ha ha It would be ideal if I found that metalworking magazine one. I'm just gonna take pretty much all of this. If I start seeing like obviously the times twos for the books in my um backpack I will drop on that. Just gonna cough a second so I'm gonna mute everything. Oh that's better. Uh say nothing and get killed. I do love the little sound effects like the floorboards then that was a uh, sketchy shit. Fishing. Fishing one. Fishing one, or whatever we got that. Tailoring. Tailoring two, got that. First aid three, we got that. Farming two, got that. <gasps> oh, you bastard. I can hear a zombie somewhere. start getting the late uh, game books because the late game is when it really gets like you need it because it's like 30,000 you know or 3,000 something like that it's, it's a lot um, yeah first aid I mean I presume that's more for like multiplayer where you would get someone who's actually helping like the 
the medic type person. This is good. One, two, three, four, five. Mate, this place has been good. Um, well, you'd have some like a designated healer, maybe, who would. Sorry, uh, who would actually get to quite high with their first aid, whereas with you on your own, the chances of ever getting level 5 first aid, you'd have to be the luckiest motherfucker on the planet, because, like, oh, I think the most I've ever got to with first aid was two, like, like the two squares. So one book's worth, and that would have been because I'd used the book this, I think that was ages ago, though. If, I, if I'm even remembering it correctly, but I'm pretty sure I did. It was years, years, like back in 2019 or whenever I had my old PC. But that was mostly because I was so stupid. I <laughs> would never take the broken glass out of the window, so I kept jumping through them and cutting my hands up all the time. I soon learned my, uh, my mistake. But I, I was quite lucky because I'd do it. Shred my hands up. Obviously put my first aid up, but I would keep surviving it. So in a way, it's, it's, not, a, it's not ideal because you can die, but doing stupid little things like that does help put your first aid up. So in a sense, you could do little bits of damage to yourself just to put your first aid up but there's always a chance you'll do something you'll get infected and you kill yourself just trying to make yourself better so it's not really worth it right stuff. I mean, I've got some fucking brilliant stuff. I mean, let's be fair, I've got everything I came out for, except for the metalworking, uh, the first issue of the metalworking magazine. But that's not the biggest deal. It would be nice, because it's such a bugger that you can't build metal walls. It's only metal walls, I could build metal fences, but if you were to build an actual metal wall, you have to read the magazine, which is a bit of a bugger. I mean, I think you can actually build, sorry, the, the wall, you just can't build the frame. So I think it'd always be slightly weaker than if you could get yourself the metal frame as well as the wall. But I might be mistaken, it might be that it teaches you the metal frame and the metal wall. Either way, I need that bloody magazine. And it might be in that building, so I could go back in there. Right. Empty, but I just drop all this shit off. I don't really need to carry the pistol, it is weighing me down a little bit. I know I've got it in a holster, but it's still... I don't think it's even got any bloody bullets in it. Was there? Hmm. Don't be fuck all in there, but still. Wait, where is this? I don't know. Quickly check my electric skill as well. See what's that gone up to? Twenty six. It's taken, I mean, that would have probably put me up to level 1 by now, if I'd have read the book. But, the fact that I'm actually, like, even if I read the book, did I pick up on the drawings? But I don't think I did. Uh, the fact that I've still got that far is still good, it's putting me slowly towards what I need. Is there anything in here I need? Phoenix sweater. Yeah, I should take some. Shouldn't 
probably need too much of it because uh, I got all the military gear. But I do, if I ever come across it, want to take some good winter gear because I don't think the military stuff has proper winter stuff. Now I think this leads me deeper in. That was silly. Oh, I see you. I think there's going to be zombies in there. Do you want me? make it harder though because it makes you a little bit just a little bit slower in your like movements like your turning and stuff it's just slight but it's a hassle sometimes Handy to have more propane torches. I don't know what the point in mallets and stuff are. Because you can't hit nails in. So it's just pointless. And they, I don't believe they can knock walls down like a sledgehammer can. So it just seems. I mean, I, pre I presume it's just a weapon in it, really. It's a real world thing, so you put them in the game. Ideally, you'd have everything sort of real world in the game. A bit like Dead Rising, where you uh, can use whatever you want as a weapon, you know. But not quite as, or not stupid like Dead Rising. <coughs> it's still fun, obviously, Dead Rising, but it's like a silly look at it. Whereas this tries to be a bit more grounded, which is good. Uh, light switch. Make the most of the lights while you can. as many seeds as I can. I should shut this in case the zombie does come down the stairs. Just walk in behind me. Yeah, so it's things like nails and stuff. You should, I should really grab them even if it's just the fives, but it's a hassle. But realistically, you've got to think it's one of those things that's um, there, there is a limited supply of them, and you do need them in all your sort of building. So you've got to think, in a sense, if you're not going to use it now, fair enough. But at some point, you might, like, in the future, you know. So. And as it gets harder to move about. Not for a long time yet, because it's still like bloody hell, it's still the first month, I think. I don't think. Oh, Christ. Is it not? No. No, I May the 4th. Oh no. It is still May. It hasn't been that many days, dickhead. Uh, yeah, yeah, but that's not till like later in the year, so you got to worry about it getting hard to get about. I mean, I've never survived long enough. That sounded like a fucking cat. Uh, I 
lived there for so long enough to have to, to go without cars because I just die, but it would be nice to survive long enough. The one time I did survive, like surprise it, like for a long time. It was back when the game had not long come out. And I didn't even... I, th I don't even know if it was in the game or not, but I don't think there were gas stations, or if there were, I didn't even know. I didn't realise back then, back when I played originally, that... I don't even know if you could, if you could go over to these places. I don't know if these roads were here. I used to, like... I'd stay, like, in the place, that would be it. I'd be like, that's... That is the map. You had four maps you could pick from. I didn't know you could connect that they're all connected and all this shit. I don't know if they don't know if they even were back then, but that's when I first played it back when it like not long after it came out, because I love zombie stuff. But um I survived quite a long time then. Quite a long time. like the longest I'd ever survived, but that was because I, well, I wouldn't say I was good, because I wasn't good at all. I just, I don't know, I think because it was still such an early game, it was a little bit easier. It's still hard. It's never been an easy game, but it's just, I don't know, I felt like it was might have been slightly easier. By that I mean um like slightly easier as, as default, but that's probably just because they didn't have as much stuff as they have in it now. Whereas now the default is like it's a nice default really. I just like to tweak things. It seems like it's set up for quite short term. Like it doesn't expect its players to really play for very long. I don't know why. Or survive very long. I think it should be set up more for a long term. I don't know where that fucking zombie is. Long term game. And by that I mean like corpses shouldn't break down within like a month or something like that. And things like that is just a bit too, too quick, you know. They should make it as standard, more realistic. And then if you were to change it yourself to make it a bit more arcade -y, it's up to you. That's just in my opinion, though. Where the fuck are these zombies I keep hearing? Okay, I think I'm gonna shortly find out. Oh. Obviously he's got a private bathroom, this guy. Oh, Jesus Christ, you fucking son of a bitch. It's not worth me shitting my pants over that place. <sighs> right. Some bits and bobs that goes back in there. about to get real fun in here. Oh god. Jesus, how many are there? I might have to give up on this. Some of them are just, I don't know, stupid. Oh yeah, no, okay, I didn't mean that mate, you're not stupid. You're obviously quite smart. I'm pretty sure 
sure there's some out there as well, so I can't just smash the window and bail anyone. There's quite a lot of places to explore. A mail service, I don't know if that's going to have much. Well, it depends if they're being funny, because obviously going postal, but that was it's quite an old thing there, really. Um, but if they are saying, say, paying homage to that, then I suppose you could find some guns in with the postal workers. But I don't know. I do like having guns. I do use them. Ooh, six metal sheets, that's pretty fucking good. I do use them eventually, because it's just good to get the skill up. But, um... I mean, I've always found shotguns better. Oh, fuck me, plenty of metal sheets. All right, this is good. Metal sheets are very handy. <coughs> so it may pay for me to unlock this. Probably not open this. I'll have to come back here again. And just load up on the sheets. There's the light switch, there's the light switch. Okay. Right, this is all metal sheets. That's quite handy. Oh, I don't like this, don't like this. so much worse once the lights go out. It's just like, oh. Magazine, I'll be laughing. Oh, he's definitely somewhere. You'd think if you're going to find that magazine anywhere, I know I keep going on about it, but. I think this would be sort of the place, wouldn't you? Metal stuff everywhere. Crikey, this place is so good I need to come back, really. God, look at this place. The amount of games I've fucking well played where I can't find a single bloody torch or a welder's mask.
Yeah, just, uh, they know what they're doing when they put that bloody musical note in this game. Mechanics. Come on. Right, well I got to have to come back here. If I could save that. So when I come back here, I think I'll come back with the van. Park it up. Ooh, what I might do is I might grab that truck with the 120 odd storage, fill it up, and then come grab all this. That would make sense. That would make sense, so now watch me not do it. Right, I think I'm pretty much done here for the day. too greedy. I mean, I've already got those books and, oh. That's going to make things so much easier. So what I'll probably do is I'll do, like I was going to do tomorrow, um, break down all the stuff in the base, move all my stuff around. But now I've got the metalworking book. And it should help me with the getting my skill up quicker. So that's good. I did, I did it regardless because I need to get it done so I can start farming. But I will most likely break down just because, I mean, I need to really. Especially now I think I can. Um, the computers and the rest of the electronic, course, electronic stuff at the military base for my camp. Because I think, yeah, I'd have thought with the stuff I've done, plus what i got left, even if I don't have the book, I should get up to level 1, which is all I need. Then I can do the... Once all that's done, once I'm recording again, I will probably, because it shouldn't take long, go and break down three of the vehicles out the front of my base. Um, like, mechanically, because you have to do It'll take three complete cars to get level two in mechanics. Because each one you completely break down gets you 75 as long as you've read the book. So it'll take three. But it shouldn't take too long. I mean, if it does, then I could always. I don't know. It might. Depends how it goes. I might do it off camera just because it would be repetitive, me doing three cars. Let's see how it goes. It's not too bad if I've got lots of stuff to talk about, but I don't want to leave you all like, oh, he's not saying anything. Sometimes I have, I do have stuff to talk about, but i got to be careful what I talk about because I don't edit my videos. <laughs> Worrying about metalworking is not a big deal because you can just scrap all these cars. You get so much for your metalworking anyway. I mean, I shouldn't really worry about picking up those metal sheets because you get so many from doing that. But, <clears throat> but you do need them for repairing your vehicles. So I'd rather have a stockpile than and not need them than have too few. I've nearly forgot about them. And need them at some point. That's another good thing about the military base, is they've got so many of those crates, which is brilliant. Because in my last playthrough, in the pet in the gas station, I was uh, having to go off and bring all this storage to the gas station, whereas now I've got so much storage already at, the ga uh, already at my camp, I don't need to worry about it, which is nice. I just need to rearrange it all, because eventually it's going to get so... I mean, this stuff will get overgrown so much quicker than the, the roads will. So I need to move it all out of the tents. 
I might, I'll try and do that tomorrow. It depends how much I can get done in one day, because I've only got an hour. But an hour of non-stop all this stuff shouldn't be too bad. I should get quite a bit done, really. Right. Let's have a quick look-see. Alright. So many rolling mods, that's good. Check out the map a second. Yeah, I mean a smart person would head all the way back up here. Pardon me, sorry. Um, and do all of this stuff while the roads are nice and clear. I'm just gonna have a quick drink a second. Yeah, make the most of being able to actually drive, which I might do. But like I said, at the start of the game, when I drove down here, it's getting past the cars. It's still quite early. It's still the first month, so it wouldn't have overgrown yet. But eventually you'll get to the point where you can't get around the, wreck the wreckages because the trees have grown right up to the road. But that's, uh, that's not for a couple of... It should take... It'll take couple of months, maybe half a year. I don't know how quick the trees spread. Uh, they spread quite fast. It might take a couple of months, actually. That's one of the things I wish I changed, is how long it takes for trees and that to grow back. But I don't know how much of it you can change. Because really, once you've cut a tree down, it's, it, well, I mean, really, you should turn off the bloody tree regrowth, because to grow a tree, it'll take you a lifetime, you know what I mean? So really, I don't know if you can. I should have looked at that, but that would have been a smart thing to do. Maybe for, once the, the new build's in, depending on what happens with it, because I'm not too sure if you have to restart or not anyway, but I might look into turning off the, the regrowth for the trees. I never really thought of that, but yeah, I don't, I know you need it in the game for crafting, but realistically, I like to try and get it as real as you can. If I, if I could, default would be like real. They would, they would have made it set up so it's real, like as close to real as you can get it. Like you'd get no, I mean, to a, to a degree, like you can, oh, you could have proper so it takes seasons for your crops to grow and stuff. I mean, that is how it is real. But even farming simulators don't do that because it, you know, you have to make it so it can be done within an amount. Because the, cause the, the thing is, it takes away from the enjoyment that it is a very niche market of people that would have it so you'd sit there for an in-game season. I mean, to a degree, I'd play real time, like days. I've tried it before, but it's the game's not built for it. Like your character gets so tired, and it's still like fucking nine o'clock in the morning. So you're like, well, I got to go fucking sleep. I only just woke up, but you know, it's. I like the idea of it. It being nighttime and daytime, it just lets you play a bit, play like, differently. But it can also screw you over if you can only play during the night. You're you're stuck playing non-stop night time. But uh, yeah, I don't know. I I like to ramble. There's lots they could do. I'd like it. I do like it realistic though. And it would make more sense that once you cut the trees down, they don't grow back. It'd make more of a challenge. Because then you'd want to ideally say in that situation you'd you wouldn't do your trees around where you are you'd save those as long as you can because you'd want to if you needed them during winter or whatever like these you just wouldn't do you'd go long long distance like say start down here start doing all of these just because in the winter i mean you probably wouldn't even go fucking further really but you know what i mean because as the game gets longer it get harder to go long distance and get the logs so you do an early game and then 
when it's really hard to move anywhere and you've got all these next to you. But that's not something you have to be would not with the actual game, but I mean, I think far too much into this. Uh, but that's the sort of thing I'd <coughs> I quite enjoy. I quite enjoy thinking about it, let alone actually doing it. Uh, but it's things like that that you know, I should have put my food away. Me rambling on. But there's lots they could do with this game. <coughs> I do enjoy it a lot. Especially all the, the potential that they could do with it. I wish more games would be like it. Right, I'm going to start reading. Let's see, that does containers. Oof. What's that? It's the cars, car mechanics, and all that. So I'll do that. Make noise maker, yeah, that's good. <coughs> but unfortunately, you have to have quite a high electric skill, which is a bastard. Especially for me at the moment. Right, so I will... Uh, grab the mail working, volume one. Grab something to eat quickly. Yeah, so next time you lot see this, it should all be set up a bit differently. I'll still be the same, like, level. There is a fucking level, but I won't have gone. I won't have gone anywhere. I will have just moved all the crap around in my base and actually I might have even it depends how much time I get but I try to organize stuff I doubt if I would have planted anything but I would have at least got rid of all the stuff out of the uh, the middle yard oh and the shit that's inside my other bit my new base over there I would have got rid of all the tables and that. Because it's so cluttered. I didn't want to declutter it until I had the the magazine, really. Or the, the book, I mean. Because I'm a stickler for wasting experience on it. Right, get reading that. I don't know if I'll finish it tonight. But I don't need to really finish it, even if you get like a chunk into it, you still get a slight bonus to your XP gain. Depends. That's the only problem I'm going to have tomorrow, is because I will be doing so much stuff around the base, is like, you'll get bored. But that's why I got so many magazines and books. Luckily. Plenty of CDs. If I need to, but I think the radio should still be working, the stations. Right, I think that's about it. Right, everybody? I am going to have to leave that there. So, like I say, the next time you see it, I might even be sleeping in the other, I might wake up in the other side. You never know. Right, guys. Cheers. Thank you very much. Take care. See you again.